let's start with a nice roll down to the floor, nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Welcome to the Clio Method. This is at workout number 109. Just bring your heels nice and close to your bottom for me. Let's bring the right ankle over the left knee, palms are out wide. And now we're going to take the legs over to the left and then to the right. So just some glute rocks, some glute rotations to help open through the hips and the lower back. I'm Kira, I am your trainer today and we'll be taking you through a really good workout. All you need is your set of dumbbells and a good playlist. Pop that on now. Back to the center, let's swap legs. Good, alternate. Let's go to the right first and then to the left. Very good. So no matter what you've been doing today or if you've just woken up, this is a really good exercise just to start to get the body moving. Good. Let's go one more to the left. Lovely, bringing that foot back to the ground. We're actually going to roll onto our side. So roll onto your right side, hands are out in front. I want you to take a big inhale and then we're gonna open the arms, exhale, and then inhale to come in. This is called a book opening. We're getting that thoracic spine, the middle of your back moving. A really good one if you do sit at a desk for your job, but a good warm up as well. Let's go one more. Back to center. Let's roll over to the other side now. So short work periods today, 35 seconds on. So I am going to make sure that you're pushing hard with us here in the studio to get every single one done. We've got six sets to get through. We'll have a drink after we do one full round of each set. Good, let's go one more arm here. Back to the center for me. I want you to roll the spine up. So a bit of a crunch, bit of a sit up, and we're going to flip into a four point kneeling position. Let's get going. So right hand grabs the dumbbell. I want you to exhale, lift it up into a lateral raise. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Good, so really controlled to start with. In our sets today, you've got three exercises, but the first and the third exercise will repeat. So we will come back to that left arm shortly. Good, strong start. One more rep. Well done, weight is down. We're going onto a push up on the knees from now. So we're slowly lowering down, big exhale to press. Find your range. Ideally, our chest will tap the ground. Otherwise, I'll show you a regression. You're just reducing your range and driving up. The main thing is, as you can see, all three of us ladies in the studio, we're not arching through our lower back, so through our lumbar spine. If you feel like you're starting to do this, just reduce your range. A strong movement of push up, but very important for the core as well as the upper body. Last one. Good, all right. We're back onto our lateral raise in our four point position. Turning, okay, let's go. We exhale, we lift and we lower. Lift and lower, well done. So no swinging of the arm. Try to avoid using momentum as you go. And our core is braced. Good work. After this, we're already onto set two. I want you to grab your dumbbells and stand straight up for me. We've got 10 seconds to go here. Last rep. Well done. All right, on your way up, grab both your dumbbells. We've got an RDL into a squat. So RDL, we hip hinge, weights come forward, follow the legs. We squat down, weights to the shoulders, and we drive up. Back to your RDL, hip hinge. Squat, weights up, big drive, well done. And up, very good. Feel that hammy stretch, good. Remember with your RDL, it's not a squat, it's very different. It's all about the hip hinge. Then we drop down like we're sitting on that seat and drive up for our squat. So two movements, but a really good flow. Time, okay. Underhand grip, so turn the palms up for me. We're hinging forward. We've got an underhand grip row. So let's squeeze through the shoulder blades. Good. So no rounding of the upper back and no arching of the lower back. Your back should be nice and flat, like a plank. We exhale to lift. 
squeeze those shoulder blades. We're back to the RDL squat after this exercise. Good. Keep those shoulders away from those ears. Good, all right, standing up. RDL squat is back on. We're going in two, one. So RDL, squat, drive it up. Beautiful. Chest stays up through your squat. If you have challenged yourself with your weights today, this is a really good strength exercise to just take slow and focus on that form. So focus on your two lifts that we've added together. And down. Last rep here and we're up. Lovely, okay, weights to the side. This one I call a rainbow leg. So I want you on your elbows. We have one leg extended and pointed of the toe. Then we come up and over into a rainbow. Tap, up and over back to center. Good. So one leg is extended long. We've started with our right. And then we do a big arc or a big rainbow. Hips are quite stable and quite square. This is a very good glute exercise. You can absolutely already feel the spice. Good. Get it back to the center. Well done. Okay, stay kneeling, grab one dumbbell for me. So we're going to go into a lean back squat with a press. Dumbbells at your chest, we lean back, we press and we come forward. So you squat back, overhead press and up. Good, so really focus on that hip drive as we come through. Squeeze those glutes. And as you can see, we've already picked the pace up automatically. It's a good flow, we all love this one. If you can stay with us, go for it. Otherwise, work at your own pace, but everything should be warm and we're already well into your workout. Good, last rep. Time, okay, weight is down. Now we do the other leg into our rainbow. So elbows down, one leg extend. We come up and over, tap, up and over, back to center, good. As you lift for your rainbow, I want you to really think about squeezing the glute of the leg that you're lifting. Pointing of the toe throughout the whole movement, we're gonna keep that. Good, and pulling the belly up to the spine. Whew, booty burn already, good. Hang in there, get back to center. One more out wide and one more back. Well done, okay, grabbing a weight, we're going to flip on over and ab exercise. So we've got an ab crunch and then we're going to extend the weight in the legs overhead. So legs long, weight comes over and we crunch on that way in. So shoulders do lift off the ground. Again, regression, you can kick your legs higher if you're feeling it in your lower back. Otherwise we're going legs long. Really lengthen the whole body. Good job. Last few, one more. And time, good job. Okay, stay where you are actually. Pop your weight to the side though. We've got our wipers. So our windscreen wipers, palms are wide, legs are tabletop. We're going to come to the left side first. So left side with both knees. Use your palms to bring your legs back to center and drop them over. So imprint your spine, take them to the left. Imprint your spine, take them to the right. Like I said, keep those palms flat on the ground and use them to give you just a little bit of stability and to really help you use that core efficiently. Well done. Last rep and time. Grab that one weight, we're back to our ab crunch and extend. Okay, let's start in that crunch, shoulders are lifted. Exhale, press overhead, crunching in. Good work. Add in that little kick, the strong extension of the legs. It is a very strong core exercise. I know you're all up for the challenge. Feel the burn. Extend and crunch. Two more. Last one, and time. Whew. Core is on fire. 
Okay, flip it straight over for me. We're into a donkey kick with a twist. So I want your hands in a push-up position. We lower down halfway. We're going to kick the right heel to the sky and lower back down. Good, so donkey kick, but with a bit of a half push-up position. We're just making sure we're not letting that upper body down and slack off in this one. We thought we'd add in a bit more. Keep everything working together. Heel is driving to the sky. So that's your cue for this one. Heel to the sky, squeeze that glute. Last one. Well done, okay. So into a high plank position for me. So we're up on our hands. We've got two mountain climbers into a commando. So we're going to go right leg mountain climber, left leg mountain climber, down, down, up, up. Same again. We're going very slow for this one because I want you to try and keep that torso and the hips nice and still and the square. So limit that rocking of the hips, especially through your commando. It's a strong movement. You've got it. Two mountain climbers, drop the knees. Whew, give your tail a wag if you need to. Okay, back to our donkey kicks now. So we are down into our half push up position. Your left heel is to the sky and down. So stomping the left heel up. Very good. Big drive, big glute squeeze, hips are staying square. If you're finding it quite difficult through the upper body, feel free to come back up into a nice straight arm position. Otherwise, let's do the challenge together and get down halfway. One more, and time. Grab your weights on the way up. We've got an alternating curtsy lunge. So weights to the side, where you start with our right leg, we step back for a curtsy to the center. Curtsy, center, again. Tempo for this, we want to go a little bit more moderate because I want that back knee to just tap the ground. Because we want your depth, rather depth over speed on this one. Good work. And would you believe it, this is actually set six. So we're nearing halfway of our workout. One more on your other side and time. We've got our overhead extension. Weights are up, elbows stay close to the face. We lower and extend, lower and extend. So if I was to face you, you my elbows aren't winging out at all. They're staying in nice and tight and I'm really locking out my triceps as I extend up. You can also see from this angle that our backs are nice and straight. We're not arching through the lumbar. So pull that core in. 10 seconds to go. Keep those arms up. Good, in three, two, one. Curtsy lunge and we're at the break. So weights beside you. We are on curtsy, center, curtsy, center. Good, chest stays up, shoulders are back. All those little cues that we harp on about, but they're very important and they're going to help you get through this workout and all your workouts the best way. Stay with us, this is the last 10 seconds and we've earned a little H2O drink break. Good, you've got four, three, two, and one. Wow, what a whirlwind. <laughs> Weights are down. Grab a drink, grab a bit of hydration if you need it. We've got through all of that once. We get to do it all again. <laughs> but now you're warm, now you're ready. We're going to smash it out. So round two, and then we are all finished. So. We're actually starting back on the floor in our all four position. We are going to start with that right hand for our lat raise. Round two, let's get it done. Two, one, let's go. We're up and controlled. Good, so you know that format now, how we do double up on our exercises. So feel free to get in that flow and focus on every single movement. 35 on, so it may feel a little bit quicker than some of the other Clio methods, but I think that's all we need for this one today. 
Good. One more rep here. Well done. We're into our push-ups. Again, take it slow. Focus on your range. Okay, let's go. We lower down. Drive up. Good. Squeeze those glutes. So your torso should be in a bit of a plank position. And our elbows shouldn't be winging out too much. So you can see all of us here, they're either sending out backwards on a 45 or a little bit more. Good, use your breath. Inhale to lower, exhale to drive out. One more. Good job, no more push-ups. Okay, back to our left side on our lateral raise. Two, one, let's go. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Strong through the rear of those shoulders. Really good exercise for those postural muscles. But once again, another amazing core strengthening exercise in there as well. Good work. We're not coming back to these now. Go two more reps. Last one here. And time. So grab those dumbbells on your way up. We've got our RDL squat move. Feet hip width apart, let's go for our RDL. Squat, weights to shoulders, drive it up, good. RDL, squat and lift, that's it. Again, we've got that beautiful flow on, but we are taking a really steady, slow tempo, because I want you to get the hamstrings in your RDL. Down for that squat, drive up through those quads. Good. Last one here, and time. Underhand grip row, so turn those palms away from your body. Let's hinge through the hips, shoulders back, and we row. Squeezing those shoulder blades, those, all the muscles through the upper back together. Well done, keep moving. You've got 10 more seconds, find that rhythm, slow down your breath on when we get a chance on these strength exercises. And time, good job. RDL squat, we are back. We're going in two, one, let's go. RDL, squat and drive. Good, send those glutes back, get the hammies stretching and working before you drive everything down and up. Beautiful. Again, reduce your range on that squat if you need to. Just go as low as you can, keeping your shoulders back and your chest up. We've got two more reps here. Get them out through the end of the time. Last one, and up. We are now down onto the ground, back to our rainbows. So elbows are planted, right leg is extended long. Let's go up and over, rainbow to the right, back to the middle. Squeeze that glute, drive it up. Big arc. And keep that toe, toe nice and pointed. Great work, keep moving. This is a strong one for those glutes, but we do love it. Good, we've got one more full wrap and we're over. Whew. Give it a little shake, one dumbbell into your kneeling position. We've got our squat back overhead press. Two, one, and we are on. And up, beautiful. Drive those glutes, a little challenge. Let's keep up with the tempo that the girls are setting me <laughs> in the studio. <sighs> Extend those arms nice and long. Head looks down, good. 10 seconds here, let's go. Two more reps, last rep, well done. Okay, back to our rainbow on our left side, elbows planted, left leg is long, let's go up and over, and we're back, good. Center yourself, focus after that 
little bit of high energy on the last one. Well done. Squeeze that glute, don't lose that connection. Focus on what you're doing. We're into some core next. One more full round, we're going out, we're coming back. And rest, give it a little shake if you need to. Grab one dumbbell, we are going to flip over now into our crunch and overhead leg extension. So let's crunch, we extend long, crunch, long. So we're not going, we've got a moderate pace. <laughs> because we still wanna focus on that imprint as you come down, as you extend, I should say. Crunch and extend, good. Find what works best for you with your legs. The higher you go, the more, it, the more regressed it is and the easier it'll be on your back. So choose your range. We're almost home, last rep, Woo! time. Weight to the side for the minute, we're into our wipers. Palms out wide, legs in tabletop, let's rock to the left. Use the palms, imprint to centre, rock to the right. Good work. Slow your breath down, we are coming back to that lovely ab crunch and overhead extension that we love. Don't worry about that, let's worry about our wipers. Good. Belly button to spine as you pull back to the center. And time. Feet it down, grab that weight that you've kept close by. All right, let's crunch, let's extend. Crunch and extend. Last time doing this exercise, no matter how much you hate it or love it, we're gonna get it done. Good work. Crunch, extend. Crunch, extend, fight the burn. You've got 10 more seconds. Almost there. Let's go two more reps. Crunch, extend, crunch, and extend. Whew. Feet it down. We are rolling over into our donkey kicks now. Two sets to go, hang in there. So into that half push up, right heel to the sky, and lower. Stomp the sky with the heel and lower. Very good. Even though we are doing our nice little half push up position, I don't want your neck arching or looking through to your knees. It should be looking directly in between your palms. Good work, stomp it up, almost there. Last rep and time. Okay, we're into our mountain climbers and commando. So up on your toes, we'll always start with our right side. So right leg, left leg, slowly into commandos, back up. Good, right, left, commandos. Avoid the rocking of those hips. Very controlled movement, but a really strong one. Commando, down, down, up, up. Mountain climber, mountain climber, good. We are so close, hold on, down and up, Whew, time, knees down, donkey kicks are next, left leg of course, so lower the chest, left heel plants, let's go, relax that neck if you're starting to get a bit of tension, you wouldn't believe it, we've only got one more set after this exercise. So stay strong, we've got this. Good, big heel stomp. Well done, exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Focus on those glutes, feel the burn. Last rep, Woo. done. Okay, weights are up, three exercises to go. We've got our curtsy lunge to begin. Weights beside you, we step backwards, knee tap to the ground, and up. Good. I want you to focus on that little tap of the knee. Hips should still be relatively square to the front of the front knee, sorry. Good. Another little addition to that booty. We're working at everything in the lower half now. 
Bit of cardio when you go a little bit quicker too. Five seconds left. One more rep. And time. Overhead tricep extension. Weights are up, elbows are in. We lower and we extend. Lower, extend. Good. Lock those elbows in close. Little slight bend of the knee, slight break of the lock. Use that breath. So close to the end. Stay strong. You've got last 10 seconds here. Lock them out. Three reps. Two to go. Last one. Woo! Curtsy lunges to finish. Okay. Feet hip width apart. Let's go last set. Curtsy, center. Curtsy, center. Good. Strong one to finish. Testing your coordination under fatigue as well. That's it, focus on this. Last 15 seconds here. Good work, tap that knee. Get the depth, you're under 10. Stay strong. Good. All the way. One more each side. Last one. Oh, and time. Great work, guys. Pop those weights down. Come to one end of your mat for me. Let's just take three big shoulder rolls backwards for me. Big, just shoulder rolls. One, two, late. Let out that big exhale of the breath. Now let's tuck the chin, slowly rolling down. Walking all the way out to a downward dog. Pushing both heels to the ground. Just want you to take your hips to the left and to the right. So a little rock of the glutes. Stretch those hammies. Slow the breath, you should be very proud. Another strong workout done. Now from here, we're going to bring the right leg forward, drop the left knee, and we are going to actually open up. We're just gonna hold here. So I want you to think about pushing that left glute forward. Everyone will feel this stretch a little bit differently depending where they're tight. Just hold and breathe and relax. Center yourself. Beautiful, tuck that back toe, palm comes down. We come back to our downward dog for a little pedal now of the calves. Yep, air on each side. <sighs> nice and slowly. <sighs> and let's take the left foot around the left hand. Back knee drops, left palm opens. Good, and just really make that breath nice and long. Push that right hip forward. Inhale and exhale. Palm comes back down. We bring that knee up back to your downward dog again. We are just going to take our knees wide on the mat and just sink for one little child's pose here. Really drive your palms into the floor. Fingertips reach forward if you can. And just breathe. The hard part is all done. Last breath of the day, of the workout, not of the day. <laughs> and come back up into a seated position for me. Thank you so much for joining us once, once again on the Clio Method. We'll see you tomorrow for workout 110. Bye.